Hey everybody, thanks for checking in. This is Mr. Hoig with the inspirational video of the day. Today my guest speaker is Coach Chris Corver. Uh, he's the head basketball coach at Northwestern. He was my basketball coach in college. He's an unbelievable coach with multiple national championships and something like 10 or 12 uh, national championship appearances. Um, but I think more impressive is to be at that high of a level of a coach and still put your focus on creating uh, better young men, um, you know. And it didn't matter if you were the best player or the worst player. In my case, you know, towards towards the end of the bench, he was still going to focus and put time into you on helping you become a better person. And I've always appreciated that because um, it's easy to say it's harder to do, especially at, at his level where where winning matters. Um, but uh, I've always been impressed by that. But the other thing that I'll always remember, um, as you guys can hear my, my kids playing in the background, is whenever his kids would come to practice or, or at the end of a game, uh, they'd come running in, into the, to the locker room and he'd pick them up and he'd squeeze them and he said, guys, look at me, I'm rich. And we'd all kind of like laugh. He's like, do you get it? And we said, well, of course we get it. He's like, no, you don't get it yet, but you will. And we're like, coach, we, we get it. You mean like richly blessed? And he's like, no, you think you get it, but someday you'll really get it. And I, it's crazy because we would laugh about that. And now every time I hold my girls um, or my nephews or my nieces, I just think to myself, man, I am rich, richly blessed, and now I get it. And so, Corver, you were right. I thought I got it then. I didn't. I get it now. And that's what Coach Corver is going to talk about today, um, how blessed we are. No matter, no, no matter what we are thinking or no matter what the time is, uh, we are – um, we, we have it pretty awesome, and uh, we're more blessed than we could even imagine. So thank you, Coach Corver. This is a great little inspiration of the day. Hello, everyone. Jerome, thank you for the opportunity to share. Uh, today, I just want to take a moment to... Uh, talk about how, how rich uh, I am and uh, how, rich, um, how rich we are. Um, the older I get, um, I've been in this coaching world for quite some time, the older I get, the more I realize how rich I am because of the relationships um, that I have uh, through life, through coaching, um, through my playing days. Um, living in Southern California, living in Northwest Iowa, um, just just so grateful for how rich I am. Um, I have a great mom and dad who passed on the baton of faith to me, and uh, for that reason I'm rich. I have a great, great wife, um, and I have three awesome kids, and for that reason I'm rich. I look at Jerome, uh, Mr. Hoig, Coach Hoig, I look at his brother, JC, I look at his brother, Jerome, I look at his sisters, uh, Jamie and Jana, I look at his mom, their mom, Emily, I look at uh, their dad, Monty, and I look at that Hoig family, and they are so rich because of their faith, they're so rich because of their relationships with each other, and it's really special, special to watch, and I just want to give a personal thank you to Jerome to uh, Jared and to JC, thank you for the way you guys have spilled into me, have loved me, have encouraged me for the ways that you've given to Northwestern and to Northwestern basketball, uh, but specifically to me. Um, thank you for uh, being blessings in my life, and, and I'm rich because of you. But I'd like to tell a, a quick story that my dad would tell often around Thanksgiving time at our church in California, Emmanuel, Ref Emmanuel Reformed Church in Paramount, California. It's a neighboring city of Compton, Long Beach. It's about 20 minutes from Los Angeles. Uh, God's doing some amazing things in that church and uh, in and through that church and in and through that area. But my dad, each Thanksgiving, would share this story about Mrs. Jones. Uh, she, she would be uh, sitting at her desk and... She was able to make um, her checking account, her, um, her finances match. There wasn't enough month left at the end of the money. And, uh, you know, she had her, 
uh, her house. She and her husband had her house. They had a uh, a lake house. They had uh, four cars. They had a jet ski. They had a boat. Um, and as Mrs. Jones was um, trying to figure out how she was going to pay a couple bills, the money just didn't match. Oh, and her, her children went to Ivy League schools. And um, as she's so frustrated about her finances, the doorbell rings. And she opens the door, and there's a, a little boy and a little girl. And uh, she, she notices that they're the little boy and the little girl that live uh, in the garage uh, down the alley a little ways. And um, she notices that, you know, their, their clothes are, are um, they've got some holes in them and it looks like they could probably get cleaned up a little bit. And she's staring at them and uh, the little boy says, Mrs. Jones, can we come, on, come in and have a tea party with you? And Mrs. Jones reluctantly lets them in the house and gets some lemonade and pours it in, in some teacups and, and pulls out some saucers and puts some cookies on them and um, pulls out a few napkins and then she sits down back at her desk while the children are eating and she again tries to crunch those numbers and uh, make them match. She just continues to grow more and more frustrated when the little boy says, Mrs. Jones, and she looks over at him and, Mrs. Jones, you're rich, aren't you? And Mrs. Jones said, no, I'm not rich. Why would you say that? And the little boy said, well, Mrs. Jones, your teacups and saucers, they match. And Mrs. Jones, your teacups have, have ears on them and they're not broken off. You're rich, aren't you, Mrs. Jones? You know, as I, I think about that story that my dad would tell each Thanksgiving, I think about my life. And I hope that I uh, am... Uh, in encouraging myself and maybe you today to count our many blessings, name them one by one, to count our many blessings and maybe just little by little we can see all that God has done. We're blessed and uh, we're rich and I want to celebrate um, that with you today. God bless you.